I'm Riley from Packacker, and today we are taking a detailed look at the Crafted Goods Simplon 18 liter, which I've been testing for the last two weeks now. You can head on over to packacker.com for the full written review, link in the description below, and let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so let's start by talking a little bit about the fabric on this bag. It is 600D ballistic nylon that feels nice and robust in hand. You know, it feels very durable and it's held up well during testing. We even were attacked by some surprise sprinklers the other day and you know, we didn't have any wet gear or anything, which was great. Um, you also have these waterproof YKK zippers up here too, which helped out some in that regard, which is great. But yeah, let's flip this over and talk a little bit more about the harness system now. So you can carry this bag as a tote or a backpack. So it comes with two sets of removable straps. You have your backpack straps here and then, you know, your tote handles up here. So we'll start with these backpack straps. They do have some padding to them, a little bit of spongy padding on here, but they're definitely not the most padded shoulder straps we've ever worn. They're not the most comfortable shoulder straps we've ever worn, but this bag does only hold about 18 liters of gear. So, you know, if you're that's what you're carrying or anything lighter, it's not too bad. But yeah, I, you know, a little bit more padding might make it a little bit, just a bit more comfortable. Then we have the sternum strap here with a nice elastic keeper to keep the strap managed and it's that nice smooth seatbelt like material which is just really smooth in hand. Um, you don't have this elastic keeper on the shoulder straps also so these can get a little dangly but it's nice and managed on the sternum strap. It's worked well, it's stayed secure, you know it's nice and securely attached. Uh, this is just a bit of a hassle to take off and move to one of these higher or lower attachment points if need be, but it's really only an issue that first time that you're adjusting it, and then once you have it to where it's comfortable for you, you don't have to fuss with it too much, but yeah. Then on the back panel here, you know, just that nylon material doesn't have any mesh or any real padding or anything, so it can feel, you know, a little stiff, especially when we have our laptop in here, but yeah, it would have been nice to have just a, a bit more mesh or something here, a bit more padding, you know, to add more comfort as well as breathability. We'll secure this here. And then at the top you have the tote handles. So these secure with these snap fasteners, which have stayed secure during testing. We haven't had any issues with them. Same you know, seatbelt-like material, which is nice and smooth in the hand. Uh, not really a whole lot of padding or anything on this handle. It's, a, you know, feels the same level of comfort as the shoulder straps, really. So we would have liked maybe just a little bit more, especially, you know, if you're carrying as a tote most of the time, which we've been carrying it mostly as a backpack. But these are also removable, so you can just undo these hooks up here at the top and on the back. Same thing with the shoulder straps, you can remove them at the top and where they attach here at the bottom and just stow them away. So when you're carrying as a backpack, if you don't want these you know, flailing around on the front, you can do that. And when you're carrying as a tote, if you don't want these getting in the way, you can just take them off and store them in the bag. So while we're back here, we're gonna go over this pocket on the back. It takes up pretty much all the back panel. It secures with a snap fastener, like the ones that secure the handles, which takes a little bit of effort to unhook there. But yeah, it's you know a great spot to put any like documents you might have, or maybe if you carry a tablet, that would definitely fit in here, but you might want to keep it in a protective case because this does go pretty much to the bottom of the bag. But yeah, really flatter things are gonna work best in here because it does sit against your back. So if you keep anything too bulky, you know, it's gonna poke into your back, which isn't the most comfortable. Uh, and then you also, before we get to these front pockets, you also have these uh, straps here, these compression-like straps here on the side. They, they do work for, you know, cinching the bag 
down, but we haven't really liked the look that this gives it. It just kind of makes it look scrunched really at here at the top. So we've really just been using them, you know, as handles, like if the bag is face down and we need to pick it up. So if we're, you know, just doing this, it's convenient for that. That's mostly how we've been using those. But, you know, again, your mileage may, may vary. So if you like that look and you just want to keep it as short as possible, you can do that. Then we have these front pockets. Uh, both of these pockets have a lot of dimension to them. As you can see, they reach out pretty far here. So you can really pack these up when you open them. Waterproof YKK zipper there again has been, you know, good at keeping our gear dry. However, it does get a little stickier around these corners here. Um, if you can notice, it takes a little bit of effort to get it around that corner. But yeah, so in here you have a bit of organization, just some liner pockets with a little bit of elastic. So you have a smaller one here if you want to keep, you know, your smaller items, maybe a tinier cable or, uh, you know, extra batteries or anything like that. Then we have a longer sleeve here, which we've just been using to hold a you know smaller notebook, and that's worked well for that. And then back here you have a much larger pocket, which has been good for you know keeping a laptop charger in. That's what we've been keeping there anyway. They're not very stretchy, but they do hold a fair amount. Like we had even a little bit more space in this back pocket with our laptop charger in it, so. It, really this pocket you can fill it out with quite a bit and the great thing is is that it's not gonna take away from any space in the main compartment so you can feel good about packing this up and not you know affecting about what you can pack in here but yep then you have this crafted goods here this little tag on the side which does come with the bag and since there's not a dedicated key leash we've you know, just been trying out keeping our keys here on this hook, which, you know, it stays secure, it, it works well enough, but if you're someone who likes to keep your keys in a more secure spot, then you probably won't opt for this, but it, it is an option. And this tag just connects to this zipper here nicely. So yeah, and then we have this larger pocket here. Open this up, same thing. Lots of dimension, as you can see, it's a pretty big pocket. So we have the Matador Pocket Blanket 2.0 in here that we've been using. And then just this big mesh pouch here, which again, you know, not very stretchy. It's okay if you need to pack it out with, you know, a bigger cable or anything like your laptop cable could fit in here. But yeah, this mesh is definitely not the smoothest that we've ever felt it's a little bit stiff but we just have a wallet in there if you don't want it mixed in with anything you're packing in this free space and then we just have a phone charger as well uh, next to here you have some pen sleeves if you want to keep some pens handy so we've been doing that we have just a face mask here in this open space as well and then back here another larger pocket where we've been keeping the Write and Rain you know, large all-weather outdoor journal. But you can fit a, you know, just a medium sized journal in here. Um, that one does say large, but it's not too big, so it fits in here just fine. And then again, you have quite a bit of free space to pack this out with any anything else you might need. So that has been handy. Set this back up. And then with if with these handles, if you are carrying it as a tote, it can get kind of annoying having to unfasten these every time you want to get in, just because it's more of a hassle to try to open this while they're connected, so just keep that in mind. Same thing, another waterproof zipper up here. This one's not as sticky just because it's mostly a straight line. So yeah, and then we have the main compartment, which, you know, it has a pretty slim profile of this bag, but you have quite a bit of room in here. You can see there's quite a bit of dimension to pack it out. So you have the laptop sleeve here, which secures with a buckle so it's not, you know, bobbing out of the sleeve when you're walking. And we've just been keeping our 13-inch MacBook Pro in a protective case, but it will fit up to a 15-inch laptop in here if you, you know, carry a larger one than I do. 
And there's a bit of a false bottom. It feels a little suspended here. Um, I can definitely feel my finger at the bottom, but you know, not totally. So there's somewhat of a false bottom, but nothing crazy, hence the protective case that we've been keeping it in. But you know, if you're comfortable just letting your laptop free float in there, you know, all the more power to you. Yeah, and then, like I said, we have just a bunch of extra space, not a whole lot of organization. You do have some liner pockets here against the back that you can use if you have any other, any other extra gear that didn't fit in these front pockets. But, you know, we've just been keeping a sweatshirt in here for if it gets a little windy out. But, yeah, you can definitely integrate some packing cubes in here to help segment your gear a little bit since there's, you know, like I said, not a whole lot of organization, but you can really, you know, pack this thing out quite a bit. You know, 18 liters never seems so big, but yeah. So it's, you know, it's just great for any everyday gear you have, as well as some extras, like if you need to pack a lunchbox or a jacket or a sweatshirt like we did, it definitely has the room for it. And there you have it, the Crafted Goods Simplon 18 liter. Head on over to packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Link down below, and we'll see you in the next video.